What if I were to tell you that the reason why you've been struggling along your fitness journey is because people have been lying to you all along? If you found yourself working out on a regular basis, maybe three, four or five times per week, doing a significant amount of cardio, um, some resistance training, you've cleaned up your eating, but you still can't seem to lose those last few pounds. The reason is because people have been lying to you. So what does that mean? Your wellness journey is more than just exercise and nutrition. Th those two are a very important component, but keep in mind there are so many different dimensions to wellness. In fact, there are actually seven different dimensions to wellness. Once you learn what these seven dimensions are and learn how to brace and strengthen yourself in each of these seven dimensions, then you will absolutely be successful. So I'll go ahead and explain each of these dimensions so that you can achieve your goals. Number one, spiritual. Basically, what I'm telling you is that you have to understand that life is more than just about you. There's a different level of existence. And it's not so much about what you do or what you do not believe, but it's more about realizing that you have to tap into a deeper level if you want to achieve your wellness goals. So once you start tapping into that spiritual level, you come to the next dimension, dimension number two, which is the emotional dimension. Once we're spiritually sound, we can start emotionally getting ourselves together. That means that if emotions are all over the place, if you find yourself stressed out and you just got crazy stuff going on, whether it's your relationship or somebody else's relationship, those stressors inhibit your ability to achieve your fitness and or wellness goals. So the third dimension is the mental dimension. And that again ties back into the amounts of stress and things that we have in our life. Once we are spiritually sound, and then emotionally sound, we're able to get ourselves to a point where we are mentally sound. You've got to have their thoughts in mind. You have to have a purpose. You have to be purpose driven. You've got to know what you're doing and the approach you're going to take to get there. Now, only after you master those three dimensions, can you go on to dimension number four, which is the physical. This is the one that you've often heard about and probably the dimension where you've started. You've worked on exercise. You've been active. You worked on your nutrition. Those things are important. They're in the physical realm. They're no less important than the others. But keep in mind, there's a series of the way that events need to take place. So we've got spiritual, emotional, mental, physical. Next up, occupational. What's nice about it, the more physically fit you become, the better you are in terms of your occupational wellness. You've got a better attitude at work. You've got a better mood about things. You're not so tired when you get off work after you've worked a eight hour or 10 hour or 12 hour shift, whatever your current position requires. And what happens as you're in better physical condition, it puts you in a better place for occupational wellness. Once you have healthy occupational wellness, you'll realize that you start to interact with other people more. And that helps strengthen your social wellness, which is the next dimension, the sixth dimension, social wellness. We've got to interact with people. If you're a homebody and you love spending time with yourself, and your idea of a great evening is to Netflix and chill. I'm not against that, but you have to interact with people. You've got to call somebody, call a loved one. When is the last time you picked up a phone and called someone just to tell them that, hey, I was thinking about you, All right? Not a text message. Those are so impersonal. I mean, an actual phone call. Or when's the last time you called someone and said, hey, are you at home? I'm on my way. I'm just coming to see you and to check up on you. Social wellness is important towards your entire fitness and our wellness journey. And last but not least, dimension number seven, environmental wellness. What's interesting is once you're sound in all those other dimensions, you'll get to the point where you start caring more about your entire environment. Those are the people around you, your community, the way you carry yourself in your community, the way you're willing to give back. Maybe you start recycling. I don't know what your calling is, but as you start putting all these different dimensions in line, you start realizing that these seven dimensions are absolutely essential to achieve the best possible state of wellness that you can achieve. Now, if for whatever reason you happen to lose sight of these dimensions, I'll share an amazing acronym that is the basis of an amazing company that focuses on these seven dimensions of wellness. 
So we've got spiritual, emotional, mental, physical, occupational, social, and environmental, or simples. Spiritual, emotional, mental, physical, occupational, social, and environmental. That is the essence of getting to the point where deep down inside you really want to get to. It's not so much about how we look, it's what we become. Change yourself, change your life. Be great. Simple fitness.